what's up team uh, so the news um, the, the bad news so last week 19.2 I did it twice um, and did my second time on Monday because I wanted to give myself as much time rest as possible because what so for the last couple of months I've every time I run every time I do double unders or box jumps I start getting uh, tightness in my right calf um, and so far I've been able to stop you know um, as in once I start feeling it because about three months ago I was running and did the same thing and I was out of training for about a week still trained but I mean I was out of doing anything with my calf I limped around for about three days so yeah it's been a it's been an ongoing thing that's been bothering me that goes away and as soon as I use it again um, with enough reps anyway it happens again so on Monday after my second attempt of 90.2 I did um, double unders as a, an imam to like 50 double unders every second minute on the minute on the minute just to get better at double unders actually I figured something out that I was doing wrong on 19.2 um, well just before it and I wanted to practice that before I forget about it I wanted to get it into muscle memory or as close as possible anyway and at rep 40 of round two I started feeling the cramp and I figured I'll just finish this it's only 10 reps and ended up finishing it like 48 just couldn't carry on anymore and I was limping literally until Sunday saw the physio uh, th three or four times last week in an attempt to get as ready for 19.3 um, as possible uh, so I put off doing 19.3 until last night Monday night um, and during the warm-up I uh, was fine with the lunges but on the box step-ups funnily enough not the stepping down the stepping up part um, it just happened again um, so it wasn't even close to being fixed I was still half limping but I figured it feels alright to to test it see how it goes see if anything hurts me because it's not box jump box jumps or running or double unders or burpees for that matter anything that you know needs really explosive power um, so I figured it should be fine uh, it turns out it wasn't and I decided not to do it which which was a very very hard decision to make um, I don't like quitting on stuff I don't like signing up for a competition and not completing it um, but for the sake of longevity of this of not only me playing with the sport but also you know being able to one day play with my kids etc um, I figured get used to maybe taking a break every now and then so I'm still training I just did a nice workout which you would have seen um, which I really enjoyed actually I was sort of down last night and this morning still am a bit I'm still pissed off that I can't do the open because um, that would have been fun but it's right at least this year I suppose it's a good year to do that because this year is October this year October we have another open so this will stay the road to the open vlog I guess um, it'll just become the road to the October open vlog um, or series uh, so the next six seven weeks so what's actually wrong is I've got a possible grade 2 strain on my soleus calf muscle um, which is a difficult muscle to train because basically that only works when you have your legs bent from what I understand anyway I'm no physiotherapist but that's what she said so I have to rest it enough um, during workouts and when I feel like I can put some weight on it I need to basically do bended or seated calf raises um, or normal calf raises just with my knees bent 
past like 25 degrees or whatever something uh, so yeah um, this will now be the road to the October open series um, I was quite happy uh, with my score so far in the open I was in South Africa I was 124th after the first one I was 54th my sec 19.2 wasn't really a good workout for me mostly because of double unders um, and because I haven't been able to do any lifting and go overhead uh, so I haven't been able to do any toes to bar or pull ups or anything like that for quite a while I think six or seven weeks so yeah 19.2 was not a good workout for me but still 124th in South Africa and I was 10,000th in the world or something like that so probably won't show that anymore obviously because I'm the 19.3 scores will be in by now so yeah I realized this was probably very boring and just me talking but I guess that's part of the documenting documentation documenting part of the process of documenting your training and or my training and my performance and because it's not just about my training it's also about my mindset and setbacks and how I handle them and one day maybe I can look back at this and think or realize oh, I'm better than I was then or you know this is something I still need to work out work on etc so yeah all right uh, I'll be moping around for a couple of days but I'll soon be back to my usual sparky weird self um, and then I'll be straight back to annoying everyone listening to this vlog or watching this vlog. Alright cool, have a good day.